Um, well, I felt like your photos just looked just more realistic and less like a magazine. Um, I, I just felt like when I was looking at your pictures, it was looking like a window right into somebody's day. You have a way of capturing moments and a way of sort of being in the background, but still being a part of things that really, I don't know, supports capturing these amazing moments. Not having our family and friends nearby, or especially because they're all back, you know, we're kind of transplants to the area. So we wanted something that kind of captured those first few days because we just kind of wanted to keep them pretty private. We didn't really want family to be out with us. We kind of felt like that would stress us out a lot more, just getting used to the new situation. <laughs> At first, I was kind of nervous about like, oh, I look kind of like a hot mess, especially especially afterwards. But it's just like, in situations like that, like that's your life, like that's who you are, and it's just like accepting that moment in that situation and like your current state, whether it's like the best state or like the not so best state. I yeah, I was I was nervous just about how it would go or what it would be like and what I should do to prepare, or if I would be too nervous during the photo shoot. But, um, but all of that went away once you walked through the door. Well, I liked the idea of sort of having, you know, some, I guess, mementos or something to kind of remind you of that time. I was a little worried about the idea that someone that we, you know, hadn't, hadn't really met before um, would be there so soon. And just, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really sure how it was all going to you know, I had planned what I wanted to do. Like, we wanted to decorate the nursery, and then the decorations didn't come in time. And so I was really worried that, um, you know, we were just not going to be interesting enough. Mm. But it didn't come true. I felt really comfortable with you. I felt totally normal having you in the room and taking pictures. There was never any time that, uh, that you know, we were being posed or being told to do something that we weren't already doing. Because, yeah, I, I was worried, too. I'm like, two hours, you're in a really teeny tiny little hospital room. We don't have our stuff. We don't have our animals. We don't have anything that's really ours. You know, yeah. like, how? what are you going to do for, like, literally two hours? That seems like it's going to be like, an extremely long time. And it, mm -hmm. it really didn't, to me. It was, <laughs> by, the time, by the time we were done, it was like, okay, and that, that's it. You know, like, and it just felt very natural. Felt really natural because it was just like us conversing, just me focusing on Elliot. It wasn't like a stage thing where I'm like, okay, like let me make sure I'm at this angle. It was just like very relaxed. I love that. Like you were just capturing us in like our natural environment, and it wasn't, it wasn't like uncomfortable at all. Just how natural the whole session felt um, is one of the big reasons that. A lot of your photos come off feeling very candid, feeling very natural, and looking like that's just how the moment was. There's nothing artificial about them at all. It was really fun. So I felt like your approach and your personality really helped me and my family feel relaxed and at home. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being a really neat experience. Oh my gosh, like they're everything. It's just like, I feel like moments like that, you can't go backwards, you know? And to capture, like you did such a great job capturing each moment and like even the little videos too. Like I still look at it, I still cry because I'm like, oh my gosh, like it goes by so quick and it's like so cool to like capture that moment and like have it forever. So. Yeah, like, those photos are everything to me. Like, they're probably my favorite photos, like, I've ever had in my possession. Yeah, seriously. The quality of the pictures that we got when we worked with you was much better than any pictures we got from a posed photographer. And I feel like, um, you know, you're now our family photographer. You're sort of part of the family. And it's wonderful that you know my extended family. It just confirmed why I picked you um, because it was just like 
that's us. There's like nothing extra. We didn't need anything extra. Together, I mean, it's really for anybody who wants to just make sure that they capture like that glimpse into everyday life. Um, you know, the mommy and me session was really great for that. Um, because I just don't want to have regrets, you know, about not having enough photos of me with her. I'd say I recommend you for any kind of occasion. It doesn't even have to be a specific occasion. It could just be a day, you know, if you want to just remember what the everyday was like. That's what makes up most of life, not just, you know, the, the big occasions. And it's like, okay, it's nice to like do like the, the photo shoots where it's like staged and whatnot, but it's not, it's not like, it's just like a different, but I feel like it's like a good, for me, like looking back, it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm completely different now, like that I see this photo and like, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's a good experience because it is so like natural. I would definitely recommend the Fresh 48 just from a, it's, it's, it's this, it's this time that you're never going to um, go you're never going to be able to go back. The difficult thing, the good thing, but the bad thing about how we all have, you know, cameras in our pocket now is that whenever anything happens, it's like, well, are you taking photos of this? You need to take photos of this because we need to remember it. So what was really nice for me was that I knew that, you know, during that time that I didn't need to make sure that we were getting a photo of every possible moment because we were going to, you know, be having, having you come in and, take care of that for them. so that was really liberating for me I feel like it took a lot of pressure off of uh off, off of like what I felt like I had to do during that time because looking at your pictures it's like something that's not a big deal like bagels water bowl or something is actually such a cute photo it's just <laughs> people don't realize I think how sometimes the little stuff really can make like such a fun memory um when it's you know captured on a film so um I'd say just not to worry about not being interesting enough because, I mean, you find it all interesting. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I never yet regretted having photos. I don't think anyone's going to die and say, like, oh, man, I captured that birthday party so well. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. To me, it's I would rather overdo it than underdo it, and I've yet to have too many photos and too many good photographs of my child, of Paul and I, you know, of my pets. So, I don't know, you live once, why not? <laughs>